Knowing how to use keywords in DaVinci Resolve will significantly boost your editing speed and overall organization. And this is even more so the case when you're working with large amounts of footage and you're trying to create a good story. So I thought a good example showing how these tools work would be to use a wedding shoot as our example project, but these techniques can work with any project. All right, so imagine you're sifting through hours of wedding footage, the first dance, the speech, the cake cutting, B-roll, that kind of thing, or finding that perfect reaction shot without keywords is like a needle in a haystack. So first let's add some. First select all the clips you want to tag, and there are a few ways to add in keywords. The first is going to be through the metadata panel. So clicking on metadata, by default, the metadata panel only shows clip details. So let's change that. The little drop down up here, click on shot and scene. And in here, we can then add our keywords. We're just going to simply click in the field and start typing. If the keyword already exists in our keyword dictionary, it will auto suggest it. Then we can just select it. If it's a new keyword, type it in and hit enter. And just like that, keyword applied. Doing it this way allows us to select all the clips in a folder, select a keyword and apply them all at once. But there's an even faster way, and this is going to be with the keyword manager. The idea with this tool is we can save up to nine keywords as favorites, and each one of those favorites is mapped to a keyboard shortcut, allowing us to add in keywords even faster this makes it so every time we add a keyword, we're not having to type it in. All we're gonna do, select a couple of clips like we did previously, and then hit Alter Option, Shift, and then the number one through nine across the top of our keyboard. One little side note, you can also put keywords on selected clips on the timeline. If you have an assistant editor that puts everything on a timeline to skim through it quick, they can just select and then hit their keyboard shortcuts to add keywords. It's a little extra work up front, but it saves you hours in the edit, and it keeps you in a good headspace to continue to create a good story instead of running down the rabbit hole of trying to find that one shot you have to add into the edit and it takes you 20 minutes to find it. Now about that keyword dictionary, you could just type whatever comes to mind, bride, bridal, the bride, her. And when it's time to actually use these keywords, it can become a nightmare. The dictionary enforces consistency. So if we go back up to workspace and then we go down to keyword manager, in there's where we're gonna see our keyword dictionary. So now that we have all of our clips tagged with keywords, let me show you how this comes full circle and helps speed up our workflow. So let's open up the media pool. We're gonna click on the three little dots in the top right corner. Then we're gonna click on show smart bins to enable it. So as long as your bin list is open, down here you should see smart bins. We open up keywords, we should see all of the keywords that we've tagged in this project. Now over the course of your edit, this is a huge time saver for finding the specific shots you're looking for, as well as for any other editors you're collaborating with that don't know about all of the contents of the footage in the project. The list of smart bins is based off of what's currently tagged in the project. One additional way of adding tags to footage is dragging the clip into one of these smart bins. And I think that covers it. DaVinci Resolve keywords in three minutes. If you wanna see more short videos like this one, hit that like button.